Budgeting blunders, we've all been there. Let's be honest, budgeting can feel like a chore. It's right up there with flossing and cleaning the gutters. We know we should do it, but we often find ourselves procrastinating. We tell ourselves, I'll start next month. Then life happens. Unexpected expenses pop up like unwanted guests. We overspend on takeout because cooking feels like climbing Mount Everest after a long day. Sound familiar? You're not alone. Many of us have been there, staring at our bank statements with a mix of confusion and dread. We wonder where all our hard-earned money went. We promise ourselves we'll do better next month. But here's the secret. Budgeting doesn't have to be a dreadful experience. It's not about deprivation or living like a monk. It's about taking control of your finances. It's about making your money work for you, not the other way around. So how do we transform budgeting from a dreaded chore into a powerful tool for financial freedom? The Golden Rule. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first might sound counterintuitive. After all, don't bills and expenses come first? Prioritizing savings is crucial. You work hard for your money so you deserve to keep some of it. Treat your savings as a non-negotiable expense. It's like paying rent. It's a priority. This mindset can make all the difference. Imagine you have $100. Immediately put $10 aside. This money is now working for you. Over time, these contributions add up. It's like building a brick wall. Each brick creates a strong structure. Paying yourself first is the cornerstone of financial health. It's the foundation for a secure future. Pop culture and piggy banks. Lessons from unexpected places. You might be surprised to find financial wisdom in unexpected places. Take the hit singing competition The Voice, for example. Contestants spend weeks honing their skills, practicing relentlessly, and preparing for their moment in the spotlight. They prioritize their passion, investing time and effort to achieve their dreams. Similarly, in the post-apocalyptic world of The Last of Us, characters meticulously plan their resources. They understand the importance of having enough supplies to survive and thrive in a challenging environment. What do these seemingly unrelated examples have to do with budgeting? They highlight the importance of preparation and prioritization. Just like a singer preparing for a performance or a survivor gathering supplies, we need to prepare for our financial future. Paying yourself first is like investing in your financial training. It's about prioritizing your financial well-being and equipping yourself with the resources to navigate life's unexpected challenges. Budgeting Coaches Finding Your Financial Guru Think of budgeting methods as coaches, each with their unique style and approach to help you achieve financial fitness. Some coaches are strict and regimented, while others are more flexible and forgiving. The key is to find a coach, or in this case, a budgeting method, that aligns with your personality and financial goals. Let's explore some popular budgeting methods. The envelope system. This old-school method involves dividing your cash into envelopes labeled with different spending categories such as groceries, entertainment, and transportation. It's a great way to track your spending and avoid overspending in specific areas. The 50-30-20 method. This simple yet effective method allocates 50% of your income to needs, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. It's a great starting point for beginners who want a straightforward approach. Zero-based budgeting. This meticulous method requires you to account for every dollar of your income, assigning each dollar a specific job. It's ideal for those who want to take complete control of their finances and track their spending in detail. The envelope system, old school, but effective. Remember the days before debit cards and Apple Pay when cash was king? The envelope system harks back to those simpler times, offering a tangible and visual way to manage your money. It's like having a physical manifestation of your budget, reminding you of your spending limits with each withdrawal. Here's how it works. 1. Cash is king. Withdraw your budgeted amount for each category at the beginning of the month. 2. Envelope power. Label each envelope with a spending category like groceries, dining out, or entertainment. 3. Spend wisely. Only spend the cash allocated to each envelope. Once it's gone, it's gone. 4. Visual reminder. Seeing the envelopes empty serves as a powerful reminder to stay within budget. The envelope system is particularly effective for those who tend to overspend on impulse purchases. It adds a layer of friction to spending, forcing you to think twice before reaching for your wallet. The 50-30-20 method simplicity at its best. For those seeking a straightforward no-frills approach to budgeting, the 50-30-20 method is your new best friend. It's like the minimalist guide to financial management offering a clear and concise framework for allocating your income. Here's the breakdown, 50% needs. This encompasses your essential expenses such as housing, utilities, groceries, and transportation. 30% wants. 
This category covers your discretionary spending such as dining out, entertainment, hobbies, and shopping, 20% savings and debt repayment. This portion is dedicated to building your financial security, including emergency funds, retirement savings, and paying down debt. The beauty of the 50-30-20 method lies in its simplicity. It doesn't require meticulous tracking or complex spreadsheets. It's a great starting point for beginners who want to gain control of their finances without feeling overwhelmed. Zero-based budgeting, every dollar has a job. If you're a meticulous planner who thrives on detail, zero-based budgeting might be your perfect match. It's like being the CEO of your own personal finances, assigning a specific purpose to every dollar you earn. Here's the gist. 1. Income inventory. List all your sources of income for the month. 2. Expense audit. Track every single expense from rent and utilities to coffee and subscriptions. 3. Categorize and allocate. Group your expenses into categories and assign a specific amount to each. 4. Zero out. The goal is to allocate every dollar of your income, leaving no room for ambiguity. Zero-based budgeting provides a comprehensive view of your cash flow, allowing you to identify areas where you can cut back and redirect funds towards your financial goals. It's a powerful tool for those who want to take complete control of their finances and optimize their spending. Budgeting pitfalls. Don't fall into these traps. Even with the best intentions, budgeting pitfalls can sabotage our financial progress. It's like embarking on a fitness journey. You might start with enthusiasm, but without consistency and discipline, you're likely to fall off track. Here are some common budgeting pitfalls and tips to avoid them. Impulse purchases. Those tempting online sales and spontaneous shopping sprees can wreak havoc on your budget. Set spending limits and give yourself a cooling off period before making significant purchases. Lifestyle inflation. As our income grows, it's tempting to upgrade our lifestyle accordingly. Resist the urge to inflate your spending with each raise. Instead, allocate a portion of your increased income to savings and investments. Ignoring small expenses. Those daily coffees and takeout lunches might seem insignificant individually, but they can add up over time. Track your spending diligently, even the small stuff, to gain a clear understanding of where your money is going. Lack of flexibility. Life is full of surprises and sometimes our budgets need to adapt. Build in some flexibility to accommodate unexpected expenses or changes in income. Mindfulness and money. Finding financial zen. Budgeting and mindfulness both encourage us to be present and intentional with our choices. Mindfulness teaches us to be aware of our thoughts and feelings, while budgeting helps us become aware of our spending habits. With a mindful mindset, we're less likely to make impulsive decisions or overspend. We start to view our finances through awareness and intentionality, aligning choices with our values and goals. Here are ways to incorporate mindfulness into budgeting. Track your spending mindfully. Consider each purchase and ask if it aligns with your values. Practice gratitude for what you have. Gratitude shifts your mindset from scarcity to abundance. Set financial goals with intention. Clear goals help you make decisions that support your aspirations. You are royalty. Take control of your kingdom. Imagine yourself as the ruler of your own financial kingdom. You have the power to make decisions that shape your financial destiny. You can choose to rule with wisdom and foresight or let your finances control you. Taking control of your finances is an act of empowerment. It's about making choices that align with your values and goals. It's about creating a secure and prosperous future for yourself and your loved ones. Remember, you are not alone in this journey. There are countless resources available to help you navigate the world of personal finance, from books and podcasts to financial advisors and online communities. So embrace your inner financial royalty, take charge of your kingdom, make wise decisions, and build a legacy of financial well-being. Join the conversation, share your budgeting journey. Budgeting is a personal journey and everyone's path is unique. What works for one person might not work for another. The key is to find what resonates with you and adapt it to your specific circumstances. We'd love to hear from you. Share your budgeting experiences, challenges, and triumphs in the comments below. Let's create a supportive community where we can learn from each other and inspire one another to achieve our financial goals. Remember, every step you take towards financial wellness is a step in the right direction. Keep learning, keep growing, and keep moving forward.